Um. So, go to the room I skipped over. Oh, wait, this is. Oh, yeah. It said hanging scrolls there. Yeah, I skipped over this because I was. I, I wanted to see what was at the end of the hall. Uh, what is this? It's like a hanging scroll, but it's blank. Oh, there wasn't um, to that, apparently. Um, yeah, I, I would have figured the ninja scroll po possibly goes there. but Yeah, that's what uh, I was thinking. I but I guess, yeah, I guess that's just something else, at least for now. Yeah. Uh, then I pass by this, I guess. This must be the door to an ultimate lab. I wonder whose lab this is. Oh, I guess this is Tenko's lab. I should look inside. Oh no, anthropologist lab. It's almost like a museum or library. It's huge and a little eerie. There are various objects stored in shelves and cases. Some of them seem very rare. It would appear this is my lab, the ultimate anthropologist's lab. Wonderful. It's so wonderful. My face contorts with glee. Not even university labs are so well stocked. But who brought all this stuff here? I suppose there's no point in thinking about it. Nothing in this place makes sense. Okay, so there's this small thing and that thing. That thing. Oh, is that it? Yeah. Uh, okay, that's enough of that. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like throwing hands at all, but... Uh, there's a large wooden dog statue on the pedestal. It looks pretty old. It has some kind of strange power to it. It makes me shiver just looking at it. Could it be? That's... Incredible. Oh, it can't... Can it be? I've never could have dreamed that this truly existed. Geo, quivering with excitement, reached out to that peculiar dog statue and slowly removed the white fabric on the pedestal. Uh, can this be? Oh... There's even a cage. This is perfect. Uh, um... Perfect for what? What are the statue in the cage for? <laughs> I never thought I would be able to touch the real thing in all my life. Today is a moment momentous day indeed. He's so focused that he's not even listening. I guess it's like some famous ancient artifact or something. There's something in the ki in this case. It's a golden katana. How beautiful! It's rusted in places, but looks about a yard a yard long and still sharp. Is that real gold? It's probably valuable. You were drawn to that katana, I see. However. It is merely cold, coated with gold leaf. Hmm. Ah, so it's not made of gold? Well. That said, that katana has immense anthropological value. In certain rural areas, katanas used to defeat generals in wars are worshipped by as gods. That is one such katana is an extremely precious relic necessary to spread. <laughs> Whoa, that's a super rad katana. I want to take a look-see. <laughs> Kuhichi suddenly popped up between us and grabbed the katana from the case. <laughs> Wait, you, you mustn't touch it without... Okay. Don't worry, I'll be super careful with it. Kokichi, you little fucking shit. <laughs> uh, Kokichi's the kid at the museum who goes around fucking touching all, all the shit with do yeah. not touch signs. Exactly. <laughs> Would I lie to you? 
Kokichi completely ignored Kyo's warning and unsheathed the sword. Hmm. Now this katana is the real deal. Even has gold plated for the authentic look. Yeah. Hmm. I see. It could also be used as a murder weapon. Hold on. Kokichi, that is an extremely precious relic. Please do not treat it so lightly, or... I'll tear out your nerves. Please do I will tear out your nerves. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just figured I'd say it anyway. <laughs> yeah, might as well. Uh, uh, okay, I, I get it. Please don't make such scary threats. So Kichi slid the sword back into a sheath and handed it back to Kyo. Whoa. Ew, my hands are all sticky. That gold plating flakes are so... Uh, that gold plating flakes off so easily. But I guess that's what makes it an authentic katana. Yes, it is very old, so the gold leaf comes off easily. In any event, please do not touch things without permission. These are all precious relics. I'll tear out your nerves. If you do so again, I will tear out your nerves. Please don't. Uh, I, I get it. The scary threats really aren't necessary. So that's what Keo sounds like when he gets angry. Yeah, it's the first like <laughs> first time. Yeah, it's the first time you ever see him. Mm hmm There's a book in the display case. The bookcases were full of books, but I imagine this one is special. Hmm. This one looks like it was bound by hand. Could it be? Can it truly be? Unlike his usual quiet self, Keo shouted and ran over to me with an alarmed expression. With steady, careful hands, he took the book from its showcase. Incredible. It is. How amazing. It's actually real. Um. What is that book, Keo? Uh, can this be? It is an extremely precious document. Do you understand? This book is a history of the fabled Cage Dog Village, said to have been destroyed long ago. The Cage Dog Village? Yes. The Cage Dog Village has a reputation for using many dark arts and spells. The village was destroyed at the hands of a feudal lord who feared their power. But one girl, the lone survivor, risked her life to write this book. Wonderful. Which means this is all her handwriting. This book is an extremely precious one-of-a-kind relic that has been soaked in her bitter grudge. Hmm. One of a kind. That is valuable. I see, yes. On top of that, since this book has such a reputation, there are few copies. Since I was fortunate enough to obtain one of these copies, I have already memorized it. <laughs> but I never thought I'd be able to lay eyes on the real one. What a trick of fate. Uh, um... Uh, Kyo, what did you mean by reputation? Yes. The rumor goes that the spells and dark arts inscribed in this book are extremely potent. However... They surpass the comprehension of people who live in a world of science and technology. That is why it was buried in the darkness along with the entire caged dog village. <laughs> but it seems those were no mere rumors. I can feel power seeping out of this book. The deep-seated grudge of a girl whose village was destroyed permeates every letter. This is getting weird. I think I should just end the conversation. <laughs> I feel as though the only thing I've learned is, is that I've learned nothing about this lab. 
Listen. By the way, Shuichi, would you like to lend your ear to the voices of the dead? Huh? The what? Do you understand? The Cage Dog Village documents contain many dark arts unique to that village. All of them, the one I find most interesting, is a seance called the Cage Child. Yes. In fact, the wooden dog statue and iron cage over there are used to, uh, are to be used in this very seance. <laughs> to discover it exists, yeah, to discover it exists is surprising enough, but to actually have it before me, you see. So, would you like to try? Let us converse with the dead using the caged child, shall we? Um, no. Uh, no thanks. I don't have any interest in the occult. Hmm. Now, now, you mustn't dismiss it as simply the occult. Some matters you refer to as the occult are of the most utmost importance to anthropology. Dismissing things you don't understand as the occult is a defilement to all cultures, yes? No. Uh, yes, but talking to the dead... Say... Haven't you ever wanted to speak with the dead? Yeah, come on, bring Kaede back. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Huh? Huh? Rip. Rip. Dead. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> yes. My favorite. Speak with the dead. If it were possible, I suppose. I'd like to talk to her one more. No. No. No, I decline. Okay. Even if it were possible to speak with the dead, I don't have anything to say. Not yet. The only thing I'd want to say is we escaped. We finally got out of here. <laughs> that determination is beautiful. Perhaps you are correct. Calling on the dead out of curiosity would only be a blasphemy. Forgive me, I lost myself. One must call on them only at the appropriate time. I felt a shiver up my spine. It's packed with books and scrolls. They're all weathered and old. That's true. I don't think I could read all of these if I had a million years. Uh, back to oh. Hmm. Well, I guess I don't that's... know if you want to talk to Kokichi and uh, Kyo just in case they have anything else. I mean, it let you leave. Usually, it doesn't let you leave. Yeah, if, I, if it let me leave, then I don't have to. But I'm curious. Okay, oh, Kichi's gone anyway. Nah, nah, fuck it. Yeah. Also, you sound a little muffled. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um. How about now. Uh, about the same. About the same. Hmm. I want. I mean, cause I. Uh, oh, now it's better. Um. Uh, I, yeah, I am using my laptop microphone. <laughs> I don't oh, have my headset. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> but at least it's only for this week. Next time, it, uh, it'll be fine. Okay, cool. I'll have my headset. Yeah, no, you sound fine now. All right, cool. Um, excuse me? Okay. There was a ghost. <laughs> Which I guess is fine. Ghosts are canon in this universe. Uh, whatever. <laughs> uh, candles just barely lit a dim, dusty room. Hmm. This is creepy. Hard to see, too. <sighs> it seems like something that would appear in an occult manga. There's a tragic feeling here. It really does feel like something is going to pop out at you. Well, there's nothing to inspect. And I would guess there's not anything to throw hands at, so I guess we'll just talk. Um, 
Even though I said all that, it seems like something is going to jump out after all. This feels like one of those old abandoned asylums full of lunatics or criminals. To the point that I'd half expect to see a corpse burst through a wall and chase us. Sorry. Sorry, that's not something to joke about. Nothing here. What this room for, anyway? Okay. What? Okay. Oh, the candle? The candles on the walls are the only light in the room. There are no windows here. It get pitch black if candles go out. Right? Uh, please don't put them out. I don't really like the dark. Well. I can't imagine many people do. The other candle. Well, in the room. Okay, I guess I'll start talking <laughs> again now that we had that conversation. Um, I'm uh, going to jump out after all. It's the same thing. Sorry. Huh. Like, hmm. Got it. Oh, the floor. Oh. Okay, that makes sense. I didn't notice that the floor was not. Okay. These floorboards feel a bit unstable. Oh! Oh, this floorboard got no nails in it. Huh? Uh, really? Hmm. Yeah, floorboard just resting on top of cross piece. That's true. I suppose it's not just my imagination. But? But each floorboard is thick, and they got no gaps between them, so it looks okay. So it look okay. Don't not worry about falling through floor all of a sudden. But? But it's pretty dark here. It's a little hard to see where we're stepping. Huh? And in the corner, there's a hole in the floor, so it might not be good to go over there. There doesn't seem to be anything else of interest in this room. Hmm. It doesn't look like there's anything important here, just an empty room. Oh! Oh, this not only empty room, you see three same looking doors in hall, right? All those rooms empty, just like this one. And they got on they only got candles for light, too. Hmm. Ah, so there are three of them. Hmm. Anyway, we know gotta worry. No reason we ever need to use empty room like this. You're right. True. Um... Then can we leave soon? The darkness and the shaky floor are making me nervous. It's only a matter of time before the shutters burst open and a newspaper gets blown in. Well. But there are no windows, though. I don't have any reason to waste time in the empty room. Okay, so and there's the other two rooms. That room had Monosuke's ghost in it. I'm guessing maybe the <laughs> it's Monokuma's ghost. Oh no! Uh, I see. This is exactly like the other room. I is Monokuma seriously fucking dead? Did I seriously lose another fucking voice of mine in the first hour of this stream of the chapter? It's only <laughs> your luck, Grizzy. It's it's only your bad, yeah, Monokuma's. terrible luck. <laughs> the three bears that I voiced. I <laughs> ah, see. This is exactly like the other room. I just want to make sure. Okay, then, then I'm out of here. Uh. Wow, this is only the first object. But I think I'm done with this area. Yeah, I can't interact with any of this. Whatever the hell that is. Uh. Oh yeah, let me. Let me hit a map. Uh. Shrine entrance. Yeah, I'm done with the fourth floor. floor. So then I gotta find other areas that might have opened up. Oops. So there is one thing I remember from the last investigation that I couldn't do. Uh, but I don't know if that's 
Yeah, I'm, I'm fine to get off that floor. Onto's lab. Oh yeah, so also another thing I was thinking of um, when we started exploring again, it's like, oh yeah, we hadn't seen like some of the characters' labs yet, so thinking that it might have been like Angie for the second trial was like, well, we never even saw her lab, so it was probably pretty unlikely that she was involved, that she was the killer, right? Like they're not gonna mm -hmm. kill someone before we know their whole, their, know like their deal for the most part. And yeah, obviously we still uh, Red Taro. Yeah, I was gonna say, we still don't know his deal, but that I think that's that's a little different. Yeah. Okay, so there was something I think back here, like near where Himiko's lab was. There was a door I couldn't access before. Um, oh, no, it's on the other side. Ugh, let me do this. It's past the. Uh, Oh, what not, right? Yep, 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 yep. Okay. So it's over here. Um. Okay, so I don't have anything for that. What else is there? I guess if anything, if you do need help, you could look at the map and see where there's a question mark. That's true. That that would tell me, wouldn't it? Uh, now it's possible there, there's something um, outside as well. Yeah. Okay. So I yeah, got to the there plaza. You go. Or an exclamation point, rather. Oh, can I not warp right now? I guess not. So we'll just go outside. Oh, the ninja scroll is probably for the uh, fucking the, the like the ninja statue in the in the in the courtyard. Hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to recall <laughs> what it looked like. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you'll see it. Oh, wait. Hold on. There are fewer plants than before. Maintenance must be progressing well. I knew it. It's becoming more and more beautiful, just like me. Hmm. Uh, really? Huh. You just made Himiko angry. But someone like you wouldn't know this, but this is Himiko when she's mad. No. No, I was just blushing. Huh? <laughs> what? From your own compliment? But... Himiko, your expression doesn't change much, so it's hard to tell what you're feeling. What a pain. I know, Changing right? expressions is a pain. Mo what a mood. That's the only reason you don't do it? Oh, Himiko. Yeah, I like the fact that, so we just unlocked that new floor and Angie immediately must have just run up there to lock herself in her room, yep. if you think about it. Yep, also I'm talking oh. the statue. Oh, yes. Okay, I do remember that now. I forgot about it. Oh, that's cool. Oh. Oh, maybe this is Tenko's lab. Huh? A building? What kind of technology makes a building suddenly appear? Wow! Hi, yeah! It's not just any building, it's a dojo. So it doesn't matter how it appeared. Right! 
Like, I wouldn't care if a chef came by car or train, as long as they made me good food. Is that really the same? I can't walk off the uh, you, uh, you can't walk around it? Mm -mm. Nope. Stops me. Hmm. It must be an ultimate research lab, and from the look of the building... Piece of cake! It's the ultimate Keto Masters Club lab. I'm sure of it. Well... All right, let's go inside. Don't be shy, Himiko. Ladies first. What a pain. I guess she said it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, pushing Himiko along, Tenko stepped inside the building. That's true. I suppose I should check inside too. Whoa, this is a huge dojo. The tatami mats are new. They smell nice. Oh, this is, this is massive. So, let's find a scaffold mat. Uh, wait a minute. Are we, like, in the fucking air? <laughs> Whoa. There will be no challengers before me. Okay. Uh. There's a scaffold suspended in the air with chains. Is this for some kind of jump training? It's like a kung fu movie. I'm guessing that would be the same for this one. Uh, yes. Is this a pillar? Why is there a pillar here? The tatami mats are new. They smell nice. Hey, said that. What is this? It's a large doll made of wood. Uh, wait, is it a doll? Is this supposed to watch over us and protect us? You know, what I'm, you know what I'm just thinking. You, you know whose lab we? You know whose lab we was available from the beginning, but we never went inside. Miu's lab. We've never actually seen what's oh, in yeah, there. Yeah, she she did like uh, when we try. I think when we try to go in, she stepped out, right? And so, like, we just never actually entered it. Well, we didn't even know it was there until we had to go take the stuff to her for yeah. her to make the phone or the, the camera. Oh, oh, yes, yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. Yeah, so I was like, um, that's all the things, so. What a pain. There's no mana here. This is not my kind of place. Not compatible. <laughs> or Tenko. Damn it! See? This is my lab, you jerk! Why? What? Why are you angry? Wow! So happy. I just can't contain my emotions. Like an excited dog that just pees everywhere. Hmm. An emotional roller coaster, the complete opposite of Himiko. That's amazing! Wow, this is such a nice dojo. I'm sure sparring will just be incredible here. But. But without a sparring partner. <laughs> okay. What was that for? Ow, 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 why are you throwing me? Listen up. Yo is a super serious martial art. Instead of training, we just fight head on. What the fuck? Now, Himiko, aim for the heart. Poor Shuichi, yeah, for real. My boy my boy's getting hurt. Huh? You're going to start with that? Just kidding. Wait! This is just kidding? Why did we go straight into actual fighting? Got it! You don't have a 
lot of confidence in yourself, do you, Shuichi? Huh? What? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You, you lack self-esteem, and because of that, you doubt your strength. You seem more confident than before, but I can tell you still question yourself. Right! Well, I'm right, aren't I? I can tell when my sparring partner is burdened by doubt. Uh, okay. You might be right. Yeah, Tenko... Tenko's, uh, sometimes, sometimes Tenko's a little annoying, but, you know, when she's serious, she's, uh, she seems pretty good. Listen up! Works real good at lifting all that doubt? Neo Aikido. She just needs to get a hint about Himiko, though. She's seriously not into it. She's not into you. I'm sorry. Sorry, Tenka. Because Aikido itself is a Japanese martial art that treasures a pure heart above all else. Himiko! <laughs> so, how about you, Himiko? Right. If we ever combine your magic with my Neo Aikido, then we'd be able to solve things by force. By force? I thought this was about being pure of art. Eh, I don't want to do any exercise. It's too much of a... Whoa. Oh, uh, did she just? That seems like a bad idea if I've ever seen one. Right? I see. It seems you are still too shy to show your emotions, Himiko. I don't think that's it, but, uh... All right. Yeah. You do you. <laughs> what a waste. You have the richest heart of all. That's right. You should do Neo Aikido, Himiko. Training your body will help you express your emotions. Oh boy. Now, come sweat with me. And afterward, we'll hit the showers together. I'm not liking Tenko. Uh, come, Tenko, chill. My, my back. I feel like turning you into a gross frog with my magic right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're angry. I can see it in your heart. Uh, okay. Even I can see that. Uh. Well. Good going, Tenko. You gotta, you gotta really think, think some shit through. Hmm, <laughs> what's, what's that over there? <laughs> Big deal, I can't hold back any longer. But how? No, it's too soon. I'm not ready for that. So good. Big things probably feel a lot better. Just the tip is fun. I can take this relationship to the next level, please. But you, we shouldn't. Come with me. It'll be fun. Just come with me. We'll do it together. Um. Ow. Pulling on Kibo's arm, you made her way to the ultimate adventures lab. Uh, um. What was that? I feel like I just saw something I wasn't supposed to see. I should check ju to see what's going on, just in case. Well, uh, oh, well I guess this is our chance to see uh, <laughs> her lab. I guess so. And <laughs> I know <laughs> what fanfiction spawned from this. Uh. <laughs> Careful not... Careful not to make a sound. I opened the door and peeked inside. I heard a strange sound. When I looked for the source of the sound, my eyes were met with an unbelievable sight. 
man, you're really plugged up. You're practically throbbing. Throbbing with dust and debris, that is. Oh boy. Mm -mm. This is no good. No good at all. You must feel yeah. so pent up. I, I, I'm glad we don't have to worry about doing doing this part. I I'm apologize. real glad. <laughs> I've been neglecting my needs ever since I got here. Relax. Got I'll get it all out. This Trust is like, me. This is like the bonus scene in, in the second game me. with Nekomaru's massage and Akane. Where it's oh like, my gosh. It's I such a not... It's just like a simple thing, but they just have to make it sound as sexual as possible. Right? Oh... Um, thank you? Which I guess is very in-character for me, but... Oh, yeah, your chassis is firm. Really firm. Like, damn. Your body is seriously incredible. I've never seen one like this. Careful, be gentle. That tickles. This is amazing. Whoever put you together definitely knew what they were doing. Oh, I feel all tingly. You definitely know what you're doing, too. If you keep this up, I just might. Oh! <laughs> so that's the sound you make when I touch that spot. That's how long is this gonna continue? This is ridiculous. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm just waiting for the pizza guy to enter too. <laughs> <laughs> I close the door without a word. Yeah. Her, yeah, I was. I actually was literally just thinking about that. Her and Kazuichi would get along I thought she was gonna, very well. I, I thought she was gonna do like uh, not maintenance, but like give him an upgrade or something, like tinker with his body and stuff. I think that way, is what she's but, doing. Like, yeah, I think that. I is think that's what the she's point. Doing. Like she's yeah, like, she's just trying to like I don't, I don't know. It's something like mechanical like that, but you know, yeah, oh Mia was just doing God. some maintenance on Kibo's body. That's all it was, indeed. Nothing but that. <laughs> you have to just keep telling yourself that. She, she. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. I, I think it would be funny to see. I think it would be funny to see Miu and Kazuichi interact. And also to see Kazuichi and Kibo interact. <laughs> that, that, that's, and I guess. I mean, that's what Dongarumba S is going to be for, so. Um, so. Love Triangle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, an actual love triangle. I, I saw someone. Um, wait. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yes. I saw someone refer to the um, to the, like Sonya Gundam Kazuichi as a love triangle, which is like it technically isn't a love triangle. This, like, Sonya and Gundam are kind of like both ways, and Kazuichi just likes Sonya. Not really how triangle. Let's. I love triangles work. Yeah. It's just Kazuichi's a third wheel. <laughs> um. Okay. So hammer. What's? I mean. Okay. I, I don't want to just. I don't want to go check out the casino. Um. Oh, uh, won't let me. Okay. Never mind. And let's look elsewhere. Now let's see if the map shows me anything. Um. I just. I need to work. Apparently. Okay. Oh, I have to go back to the fourth floor, apparently. Okay, interesting. At least that's what it looks like. Hajime and Nagito and Chiaki are kind of like one, but they just... But just really both like Hajime. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, it's still a little bit of a... Uh, stretch, I guess, but I don't know, man. I'm I'm not gonna stop people from having their head cannons. <laughs> uh, it's like over here, right? Oh my god, I gotta keep pressing the wrong button. Yeah, it's over here.
Oh, see, now that we have Ma Maki's lab on the map, actually shows up as the assassin's lab now. I I don't know that I actually checked what it looked like before. God, why do we have to come back here? <laughs> hey, w what are you doing here? Monokuma stared at me in silence and disappeared down the hallway. Uh, um... I suppose he wants me to follow him. What could be down there? Oh, it's this, okay. Monokuma is glancing back and forth at me in the picture on the wall. Uh, um... Mm, this picture? Huh. I see, it's not a canvas, it's a pane of glass. Hmm. Perhaps. Maybe I should use that item I haven't used yet on this. Alright. Alright, it's worth a try. I held the hammer in my hand, faced the glass in front of me, and threw it as hard as I could. Interesting. I knew it. Just as I thought, there is a hidden passageway here. What is going on with Monokuma? I don't know what he's up to, but this did really help us out. The passageway looks different than the haunted house, more like a factory. Hmm. This is eerie in a different way. All these fucking TVs. Oh. Oh, Kibo's lab. Right? It's a giant machine. I've never seen this before. Look at this. You bastards. If you've come this far, that means you've solved the painting puzzle. Wonderful. Excellent teamwork. Yeah. Huh? What teamwork? It's just Yuichi. That puzzle was too difficult for one person to solve. <laughs> I'm sure they got along and solved it together. Sure, buddy. Let's just play along. We'll put ourselves in danger if we defy him. It's true what they say. The serious ones are the scariest when they finally snap. Hey. I'm certain it's not possible. But did that outdated piece of junk help you all? So wow, this is this is very strange. So that remains of a once yes, we should expand this room. So this is the computer room. Computer room? Ah! But this computer isn't just some ordinary computer. This computer you're looking at is, like, super amazing. If I remember correctly, it's so amazing, you can even use it to create a new world. Oh. Huh. A new world? Okay. Yeah, a new world. You can use this to create a new world. Hmm? Wait, were we supposed to tell him that? I've already forgotten the plan. Huh. You really said way too much. Sorry. Ah, I knew it. So forgetful, Monotaro. You gotta try to remember what you can and can't say. S -s Sorry. Why didn't you help him, Monophony? 
when you realized he was saying too much, you could have helped him, right? Okay. So oh why God. didn't you? Yeah, oh, he's going man, power crazy. <laughs> You're friends, right? So why didn't you help him? If you can't get along, you will be punished. You two, Monotaro, friends, share everything, even punishments. Yeah. What? Backfire? Oh, boy. So oh, well, see how much longer they're on the story. <laughs> yeah. This machine can make a new world. What are they talking about? But I'm not good with computers. I don't think I'd understand it no matter how much I investigate. Oh, and there's the chest. Cool. Okay, let's look at the computer first and we'll grab the chest. There's a giant green computer. Oh my God, is that the original Xbox? No. <laughs> That's great. There's a giant green computer in the middle of the room. This machine can make a new world. What could that mean? With how little I know about computers, I don't think I stand a chance. I guess I have no choice but to leave it be for now. Yeah, that is, that is supposed to be the original Xbox, I'm pretty sure. Ah, ah, a treasure chest. I opened the chest eagerly and... I found one, a flashback light. This, I can find out what this place is, why we're here. <laughs> oh, you found the flashback light? Wow, you're pretty dependable, despite that lame face of yours. I respect that. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right! get the others. You just bring that to the dining hall, Shuichi. Okay. Well, off I go. See ya. He chatted away and I couldn't get a word in edgewise. He left waving goodbye. Well, I guess we go to the dining hall. 